I think we need to have a serious reflection as to why the UK's national hub was closed for 24 hours. Um, and I think we need to make sure that we don't repeat an instance like that again, um, because we did lose power to one third of the airport, but we didn't operate a flight that day. And uh, we can look at the, the why and how it came about, but the reality was that the airport wasn't resilient enough for something which is so critical. For over a decade, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner was the pride of British Airways, a symbol of efficiency, technology, and long haul dominance. But in July 2025, something changed. Quietly, without press releases or headlines, their Dreamliner fleet began disappearing from long haul rotations. At first, it looked like routine maintenance. Then, entire routes were pulled, aircraft were grounded, and behind the silence, a single investigation was unfolding. One that began thousands of miles away with the AI-171 incident. Now, internal reports have surfaced, data logs have been reanalyzed, and what British Airways found hidden in the aftermath of AI-171 may explain the most unexpected decision in the airline's recent history. Because when an aircraft no longer understands when it's flying, the people in charge are forced to decide if it ever should. On June 12, 2025, Air India flight AI-171, operated by a Boeing 787-28, experienced a sudden loss of thrust just after takeoff. Investigators found that both engine fuel control switches had been manually moved from run to cutoff. This action occurred within seconds, with no external cause like weather or bird activity. The switches in question are protected by mechanical guards, designed to prevent accidental activation. According to the preliminary report, cockpit audio captured one pilot asking, why did you cut off? and the other replying I did not. The report did not confirm whether the action was manual or a result of system failure. What made the case more concerning is that no mechanical fault was found. The engines were functioning normally until fuel was cut off. This pointed to either an intentional input or a deeper software logic issue. The incident triggered fresh reviews across multiple operators of the 787. After the AI-171 incident, British Airways began reviewing internal reports across its 787 fleet. Engineers identified cases where cockpit displays reset and systems temporarily lost power. These events happened during taxi or just after pushback. At the time, None were classified as serious. One aircraft required a full electrical restart before departure. Lights flickered, avionics went dark, and engine systems stalled during initialization. The crew delayed takeoff as a precaution. Passengers were told it was a minor technical issue. But when AI-171 data became public, the similarities were impossible to ignore. Both involved unexplained system behavior with no mechanical failure. British Airways saw a pattern forming beneath the surface. A hidden logic error was starting to emerge. British Airways operates most of its Dreamliner fleet with Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. Since their entry into service, these engines have faced repeated reliability issues, fractures in turbine blades, corrosion, and abnormal vibrations were reported across multiple airlines. Several BA aircraft were temporarily grounded for inspections and part replacements. By mid-2025, over 60 Dreamliners were inoperable at Heathrow awaiting new engine components. Rolls-Royce struggled to meet global demand for replacements. Some aircraft remained grounded for months due to part shortages and backlog maintenance. Each delay disrupted long-haul scheduling across the network. The AI-171 investigation shifted attention back to these engines. Although that flight did not use Trent 1000s, the failure involved fuel control logic. Engineers began to question whether software or engine management systems might share a vulnerability. The overlap raised new concerns about systemic flaws. As engineers reviewed BAS maintenance history, they found repeated notes related to engine control modules. Several replacement records mentioned non-conforming behavior without clear explanations. In most cases, the systems were reset or updated without identifying the root cause. Temporary fixes were applied, but the deeper issue remained. Further investigation revealed a troubling match between BA records and older Boeing memos. The term non-conforming shimming appeared in both, referring to gaps between fuselage sections that were not filled correctly. These flaws had been documented at Boeing's South Carolina facility. At the time, they were labeled as production quality issues. Now, British Airways faced both digital and structural inconsistencies across its 787 fleet. 
Software logic errors and physical imperfections were no longer isolated problems. With AI-171 showing how silent failures could escalate, BA engineers saw the risk forming. It was no longer about isolated malfunctions, but a pattern. The preliminary report on AI-171 confirmed that both engine fuel control switches were moved to the cutoff position shortly after takeoff. These switches are physically protected and require deliberate action to operate. No environmental factors like bird strike or weather were reported. The engine stopped producing thrust seconds later. Cockpit voice recordings captured one pilot asking why the switches were cut off. The other replied that they had not done it. Investigators could not confirm whether it was a mechanical issue or a result of digital miscommunication. The report emphasized that the sequence of events was highly unusual and without mechanical failure. No structural or engine defects were found. Power loss was caused by fuel starvation after both switches were disengaged. This type of occurrence had not been recorded before in a 787. The case prompted operators around the world to re-examine similar logs in their own fleets. After reviewing the AI-171 report, British Airways engineers began reanalyzing technical records across their 787 fleet. The focus was on engine behavior, flight control inputs, and system logs. Multiple aircraft showed electrical resets and abnormal system states during ground operations. In some cases, faults cleared before departure and were not reported. Maintenance records also showed recurring notes involving engine control components. Certain parts were replaced due to non-conforming behavior, but often without a clear root cause. The terminology matched phrasing found in older Boeing documentation. This included issues like shim gaps and bonding inconsistencies in fuselage sections. The connection between AI-171 and these findings raised new concerns. It highlighted how certain failures could occur silently without triggering alarms. British Airways teams started treating these anomalies as part of a wider pattern. Internal reports suggested the problems extended beyond individual aircraft or isolated incidents. As reports from internal audits and the AI-171 investigation overlapped, British Airways escalated the issue to executive leadership. The data showed repeated instances of abnormal system behavior across multiple Dreamliners. While none had resulted in critical incidents, the similarities with AI-171's flight profile were no longer dismissible. Patterns were emerging across structure, software, and engine systems. The executive team, including the CEO, received a compiled analysis combining maintenance data, engine performance, and control system behavior. The review indicated that certain vulnerabilities may not be isolated to one flight or aircraft, but could reflect a broader issue within the 787 platform. The findings prompted urgent meetings with engineering leads, operational planners, and legal advisors. The airline began reassessing the long-term role of the 787 in its fleet. Though no public statement was released, the response internally became clear. Flight schedules were adjusted, aircraft were pulled for inspection, and further deliveries were paused for review. While the AI-171 crash happened thousands of miles away, its impact was felt inside British Airways hangars. It forced a re-evaluation not just of one event, but of an entire fleet's reliability. The AI-171 event brought new attention to how critical systems behave under rare conditions on the 787. The nature of the sequence, fuel cutoff without mechanical fault, raised interest across operators and regulators. In large fleets like British Airways, such incidents can prompt deeper internal reviews. Data comparisons and system audits may follow. For Boeing, the timing placed further focus on long-standing concerns involving software logic and production standards. Previous reports of quality control issues and deferred maintenance came back into discussion. The AI-171 case added urgency to these conversations. Technical teams began rechecking aircraft histories across multiple carriers. In this context, British Airways may be reviewing not just isolated events, but systemic reliability. Operational planning, fleet strategy, and supplier coordination could all be under evaluation. For Boeing, each new detail has the potential to shape perception of the 787 program. The impact of AI-171 may still be unfolding. The Dreamliner was designed to be a revolution in aviation. But when advanced systems act without warning, even the most trusted aircraft can raise uncomfortable questions. As data continues to emerge, 
the story of the 787 is still being written. Will the AI-171 investigation change how airlines view automation and system logic? Or will the lessons be buried until the next incident forces them back into the spotlight? If you want to keep following stories that others won't tell, subscribe now and stay informed.